back. Thanks for clicking. So this non-Muslim went to a mosque and look at what he saw. He was perplexed. Let's check it out. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be on to you. This is a great opportunity for people of all faiths and traditions to come inside the mosque, know and learn what a mosque is all about, what type of worship Muslims do, what other activities Muslims engage in in a mosque setting, the beautiful architecture of mosques, how people pray, how they are preached and so on and so forth. This is a great opportunity for people in America to know firsthand from Muslims about Muslims, about Islam, and as well about what mosques are all about. So we're here at uh, the Islamic Institute of Orange County on Open Mosque Day. Uh, and we have had a lot of people coming in since the morning and now we're in the afternoon. Uh, different groups, people from different backgrounds, different churches coming in and asking different questions about Islam, uh, enjoying some food, checking out the, the presentations, getting a tour of the mosque. Uh, it's been pretty interesting uh, up until now. I'm here with a group from Chapman University. To um, We are in an interfaith project learning about Islam and how they compare and contrast with other religions. Um, I did have a preconceived notion about Islam. I'm in an Intro to Islam class by Dr. Siddiqui. I've learned a lot about Islam that I didn't know before. Uh, although I've observed it often from the outside. I lived in, worked in refugee camps for nine years in Thailand and up near the border with Cambodia there were there was a Muslim community and used to hear the calls to prayer all the time but didn't really know much about it. It was mainly Buddhist country. The goal has always been is that you always want to convey the message of Islam and who the Muslims are. So when people come in, uh, we have uh, uh, booths uh, set up specifically that, uh, that uh, um, help a person understand from the different concepts uh, to the visuals, to the calligraphy, the art, and all of that. And of course, uh, the food as well. Always seen it from the outside and it's very interesting to see it from the inside and talk to the people who have all been wonderful, all the people I've talked to. So, it's been nice. I guess I didn't really understand a lot of why they do what they do and just coming here and learning about it. Like It's a very friendly environment, they're very welcoming and open to answering questions. Um, and I guess I wasn't raised with that knowledge, so just being involved in this has really opened my eyes to what Muslims are, what Islam is. So. Growing up Christian, I, I, I went to a, uh, specifically went to a, I grew up in a Baptist church, went to a Catholic high school, so the only thing I knew was of the Christian faith, and I always thought, like, you know, Muslim, Jewish, I thought it was all different, and like, oh my God, they believe something totally different, um, and I just understand it's just a different way of worshiping, you know, it's all one being, um, it's just the different individual beliefs that allows you to get closer to God or get closer to that one being. So a lot of the questions were answered for me. A lot of visitors actually just want to come and meet a Muslim. Um, there hasn't been one specific question that has stood out to me today, but a lot of it is just people coming like, I just want to meet a Muslim, I just want to get to know a Muslim. And I think that shows the importance of Dawah and the importance of being out there and outreaching to people and the importance of that human connection that makes all the difference. This is our first visit to a mosque. It was absolutely fascinating. Um, we had the opportunity to do a tour and um, learned a lot about Islam and um, w what the mosque is about, what the faith is about, what the culture is about, and there are many misconceptions that were cleared up for us. Yes, it was a very uh, enriching uh, religious and cultural experience. I felt very at home, very comfortable, um, and it was uh, it's such a peaceful environment and it, it does reflect on the people and the religion and, and, and the culture. It was a, a fascinating experience and I, I am encouraged to learn more about it. Is there anything misconception that you did had and maybe this changed your mind, if any? Um, the fact that men and women prayed separately, I thought it was to, it, it is to keep distraction free, but it's for both of them, for men and women, and it's to keep women modest so they're not bowing in front of men and there isn't any wrong motions happening. It's completely just focusing yourself on God. So that was kind of something that was solved. Absolutely, yes. I mean, I'm actually taking my own little Quran here, uh, Quran. So, um, but yeah, I would be more than happy to actually answer questions from my friends, um, especially friends back in St. Louis, in the middle, the Middle East, where 
they have no idea, you know, what this is or what it's about. Um, so it'd be uh, enlightening to me to enlighten them. Uh, and it'll force me to do more research on my end so that I could bring people, uh, to encourage people to study other faiths and other religions and just to understand it, you know, not to con convert, but to just understand, so. Muslims gather here daily to offer their prayers and to enjoy a good game. From private reflections to communal lectures, from interfaith dialogue to scout activities, from social events to social work, mosques are a paragon of the all-encompassing spirit of Islam. Your neighbors feast. invite you to explore the... Wow, this is beautiful. I love the feast. I love the end of that, in which is mosques is not only about prayer, it it's involves a lot. Teaching, getting to know about the Quran, you know, eating together, talking together, knowing each other. I love the points the students gave. They came to do their project and they, they went there to learn more about Muslims, about Islam. And the other lady, what she said was really right. What's really intrigued, like, the first thing that really shocked me and I really loved about Islam is the fact that men and women pray separately. And this is to avoid distraction, to avoid harassment, so that you can focus. Because if you're distracted, how will you be focused? And you know you're bowing down to pray. So just imagine they are, both men and women are praying in the same place. And the woman wants to bend down, and there's a man at the back too that wants to put his face down. He'll be distracted. He might be distracted by a physique, a physical look. Before you know, he will be lost. He won't know how to connect to God. He won't know how to pray well. I think that was really good. It was really good the way they they allowed them to pray separately. That was the that was the first thing I learned about Islam. And I respect. Islam for that a lot. I respect it so so much. I saw a board in which they said come to a scholar and you get your name in Arabic. That means you can have Arabic name. That means generally Muslims have Arabic names. So it was beautiful the way they were discussing with them, letting them understand and you know most Muslims most of the time they go daily to pray in the mosque and a lot of them were even eager to convert. The misconception they have about Islam went off like it's wiped away they got to understand that oh islam is beautiful the religion is so beautiful it's fantastic they are hospitable they are beautiful people they take their religion very seriously they pray when it is when it when it's there's time to pray they pray when it's time for them to do the things of god they do it they don't give excuse. They give out time for God at the right time, not doing things at the wrong time. And that was beautiful. Even the old man even said, oh, he had a lot of misconception, but Islam is beautiful. And I love each and every one of them comments. It was amazing. I really enjoyed this video, guys. So, so guys, it's a wrap. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.